The horror, rip the horror story returns at UFC Fight Night 88 against Track Cephedine Sponge. So Track Cephedine is uh, going to be fighting. Still, there was news that he was going to have to pull out and he was not going to be cleared to fight. But the Belgian uh, is able to fight. I believe he had a knee issue, but the doctors cleared him to fight. And he will be going against Rick Horror Story at UFC Fight Night 88 in Las Vegas. Now, this is going to be a fun fight. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button here at Crazy Joe's Galaxy. Leave us a comment down below with your thoughts and opinions. If you like the video, hit that like button. I'm Crazy Joe. It's Big Dog Jimmy back there. Now, the horror story. He is coming back after, I believe, being out for around two years um, after he beat Gunnar Nelson. And he had a neck issue, neck injury, and surgery. And he's returning. He is 18 and 8. In his MMA professional career, Track Suffadine is 16 and 4 in his, and this is going to be an amazing and intense fight. Uh, you know, for the reach, uh, Rick has one inch at 71 inches over Track 70. Leg reach, Track Suffadine has it with 42 inches over Rick Horror Stories uh, 40. You know, so uh, will the sponge be able to? T uh, t uh, will uh, be able to handle the horror, or will the horror end up soaking up that sponge and taking him out? Now, we have uh, Cephedine. He's got one win by KOTKO, five by submission, ten wins by decision. The longer it goes, the more favored it is for him normally, or what it seems here on paper. He's got one win by KOT, I mean, one loss by KOTKO. He's never been submitted by anybody. So that's going to be interesting. Will history be made at UFC Fight Night 88 where Rick the Horror Story submits Traxepanine or not? And then uh, three decision losses, you know, for Traxepanine. Uh, Trek has, uh, he beat Jake the Juggernaut Ellenberger by decision in his last fight. Prior to that, he lost and was demolished by Rory McDonald. The Red King took him out with the TKO uh, punches in the third round. And that dude is hella tough. We all know that. Uh, Hung Gung Lim had beat, uh, had lost to him, uh, to Trax by decision. He beat Nate Marquette, uh, Roger Bowlings, Tyler Stingson, and Scott Smith all by decision. So he's only, been in, in, since 2011, he's actually 2000, yeah, 2011, all his fights he's won have been by decision. He had a five fight decision win streak going until he faced Rory McDonald. Tyrone Woodley beat him by decision in Strike Force uh, back in 2011. So that's very interesting. Now, Rick, the horror story, he's on a two fight winning streak as he beat Leonardo Mafra Texera by submission arm triangle and then a split decision over Connor Nelson. And um, he lost to Cal Calvin Gaslam. Uh, by split decision, which I thought was bogus. I thought that Rick won that fight, you know, and he's been back and forth. He lost to Damian Maia by a neck crank. He beat, you know, different dudes, Diego Alves, Johnny Hendricks, and the Ultimate Fighter 12 finale, you know, which is uh, which is quite the feat to beat Johnny Hendricks. So, you know, it's going to be a really fun and very interesting fight. I believe that Rick, the horror story, is going to win this one. Uh, by submission in the second round. I actually forgot to go over his numbers because I just got so excited about things. He's got four wins by KO, TKO, four by submission, ten wins by decision. So he's got the same amount of wins by decision as does Track Cephedine. You know, he's never been KO, TKO'd. He's lost once by submission, seven times by decision. So it's very interesting to see where it goes. You know, Maya's the only guy who has ever submitted him and stopped him. And that was back in 2012. And the guy's been fighting since 2007. So, what will happen? Big Dog Jimmy thinks that Track Cephedine is going to knock out Rick the Horror Story and give him his first loss by KOTKO. I believe the Sponge Cephedine is going to end up uh, getting taken down and losing his first fight by submission, well, not his first fight ever, but his, uh, having his first loss by submission to Rick the Horror Story in the second round of UFC Fight Night 88. If you think I'm right, hit that like button. If you liked the video, hit that like button, leave us a comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Looking forward to all the fights tonight.